Welcome back to more Bravely Default 2, everybody. In the last episode, we had some issues in the last boss battle, which was actually the first boss battle of the game. But things are good now. Let's see here. Okay, we have two. Ooh, there's a side quest over here. There's also apparently a shop over here. But it's saying new. Alright, let's see. Bye. Okay, so teleport stones. Um, I mean, it's cool that we can buy them at ease. Tents. We already have three. I think we're good. Mag Magnifying glass displays various information about an enemy, including its HP and any weaknesses. Isn't that basically just examine? I believe that's examine. That's in case you're not using Freelancer. Okay. Potion. Phoenix down. I actually have to buy a couple of these. Ooh, Phoenix downs are actually very cheap in this game. Oh, but they always restore a fixed 300 HP. So that issue I was talking about in the boss battle is going to be a bigger problem later in the game because they will always revive 300 and eventually 300 HP is going to be very very small compared to the max HP of a character and the amount of damage you'll be taking per hit um, but yeah, I'm going to buy some of these, I'll buy like 5 I guess um, eye drops <laughs> I mean it's cool to have all these things here but a wake up bell hmm. usually they're called like alarm clocks or something like that um, paralysis Deals physical damage to all enemies. Throwing knife. Hmm. I think... I think I'm good. I don't think I have to buy anything else. Uh, what about this? Okay, so dagger. Uh, we have ku kukri. Kukri. Broadsword. Longsword. Okay, so the... So the longsword is definitely better than the broadsword. Um... But it is one heavier. Still though, I mean, if it's an improvement, I should probably use it, but... Hmm. I don't know, we have Staff. And then Wizard's Rod. Okay, I'm just looking to buy... Wait, I already have one of these, what the heck? I already have that. Okay, so should I buy another Longsword? Like, is that worth it? Oh man, I, I actually don't know. I mean, it's worth four fifty. Oh, you know what, I'm buying it. I don't, I don't even care, I'm buying it. Uh, just purchase because I also want to equip the other one. So, all right, let's see here. We're gonna do equip on. Yeah, so longsword dagger. I'm gonna replace this with that. So more weight, but more physical attack. And what is that? Uh. Oh yeah, I received a comment in the first video. My bad. Uh, you can actually press the left stick to get rid of that annoying thing that blocks reading. You know, chance of being targeted also goes up. Okay, cool. And then the other thing that I just noticed was, yeah, this thing. Let's give you this. Oh, wow, look at that. Everything, a lot of stuff go up. Let's do it. Okay. I believe I'm good with that. Uh, what other stuff did you actually have? Like... Oh, wait, what am I doing? Okay. Uh, so nobody has shields. I've kind of been avoiding that, but... Okay. Knitted cap. That would be a complete upgrade to you, meaning Gloria, um, we have some of these too, I don't know, I feel like I shouldn't mess around with this, the only thing I will buy is another another, another one of those, because the leather cap, well, okay, the problem is that everything else, I'll just go with a minor upgrade, I think somebody else, yeah, you have a knitted cap, I'll just buy one of these, it's only worth 40, so, there we go. Give that to you. And I know I can actually sell stuff, but I don't really need to be doing that. I think it's fine. Ice Talisman. These are actually really expensive. So I shouldn't be messing around with these right now. I don't think it's worth the money because I should be spending my money on other stuff. So, yeah. Let's just go back. And, um, okay, I believe the quest was in there. Wait, is it you? No, no, it's like it's literally in here. Okay. All right, borrowing the boat. Um, take the boat out for a spin. Okay. Hey there. Are you all right now, ma'am? Hmm. Oh, it's you. You really saved my skin back there, you know. I'll have to think of some way of paying you back. Oh, there's no need for anything like that. I won't hear of it. Imagine a debt like that left unsettled. 
but what to give you. <gasps> Hold on. You're a sailor, aren't you? Uh, I am. Uh, how did you know that? <laughs> well, you could hardly be anything else, dear. Right, come along with me. I've got something to show you. Here you go. A little boat to say thank you. A boat? Oh, uh, no, ma'am. It's too much. Nonsense. I want you to have it. I don't get much use out of it at my age anyway. And besides, the old girl would prefer to have a handsome young fellow like you at the helm, I'm sure. <laughs> You're right about her being old. But she's in great condition from what I can see. She's wonderful, isn't she? And sturdy as anything, too, I can promise you that. Not ocean-going sturdy, perhaps, but fine as long as you don't stray too far from shore. What say you hop on board and give her a whirl? All right, you've convinced me. Don't mind if I do? <laughs> That's the spirit. Who knows what awaits over the horizon, eh? Or who you might meet. When sending the boat out on expeditions, you can choose to use online functionality. While it's not necessary, expeditions taken online will yield slightly better results. Would you like to use online functionality? Please don't let your nickname or your character's name will be shared. I'm going to say no for now. Um, will not be usable exploring, as it was not possible to connect to the server. If this option is changed again via the options menu, another attempt will be made to connect. Okay, that's fine. Okay, something was spotted floating in the ocean. What? What in the world is going on? I, oh my god, I can't. Okay, like 15 messages just popped up and I couldn't read a single one of them because they all went so fast. <laughs> I have no idea what just happened, but let's just wait and see what happens with this next event. Whatever that was. Well, how did the old girl treat you? Beautifully. She sails like a dream. Which is why I can't accept your offer. She's too good to just give away. You can't? Hmm. Fine. If it makes you feel better, how about I lend her to you instead? I'll look after her, and you give me a shout whenever you want to take her out. Just come and find me and say the word. It's really no trouble, dear. Well... Uh, I guess that will work. Thanks. Right, then. I suppose I'd better be heading back to town. Okay, ma'am. Oh, try to steer clear of any monsters this time. <laughs> I'll do my best. So the quest was completed, so I get two teleport stones as the reward, which is pretty nice. I think they cost about 180 each, so that was a free 360 money, essentially. Alright, so... I got a pretty stone. Small experience orb. Small JP orb, that means job points. And then booster bun HP, I don't know, there's a bunch of items, okay. Congratulations, you've gained access to a bow, which means you can't go exploring. This is a great way of earning rewards when you're not playing, as it's a feature which works specifically when the system is in sleep mode. Expeditions can last up to 12 hours, so it's well worth setting sail before heading out somewhere or going to bed. Wow. Okay. Exploring has many benefits. For example, you can discover experience boosting orbs, JP boosting orbs, and delicious HP boosting buns, and these aren't the only treasures on offer. What's more, if you're connected to the internet, you can get a helping hand from others and earn even greater rewards. It's a great way for people, for busy people, to level up more quickly, so be sure to set sail on an exploration expedition whenever you're going to be away from the game for a while. Okay, um, so I don't have to do that right now, obviously. But that's really cool to do. I don't know if I'll be doing that sometimes when I stop playing and in the next episode I'm like, 
So I did this off screen, you know, let's see what rewards we get. I don't know. Something like that. Let's see if there's any more... Any more stuff? Not really, although I'm getting... A scene over here, okay. Firstly, I would like to thank you all once again for rescuing me. And since you went to such great lengths on my behalf, I feel it is only right that I introduce myself and my situation properly. My name is Gloria. I am, or at least was, the Princess of Musa. It has long been the duty of those of my line to see that the four crystals are kept safe in order that the calamity known as the Knight's Nexus might be kept at bay. Unfortunately, the crystals were stolen, and three, those of fire, water, and earth, remain unrecovered. Various disturbances across the land would seem to suggest that the calamity grows closer with each passing day. You mean like the flooding people have been talking about? And the waves that sank my boat? Precisely. I believe it is only a matter of time before the Knight's Nexus is unleashed. And the only way to prevent this from happening is to restore the crystals to their rightful place. This being so, dear friends, might we importune upon you to aid us in their recovery? Sir Sloane, we cannot presume to expect the help of others in matters that it is Musa's duty to resolve. Though I apprehend thy reluctance full well, my lady, tis plain that if we are to fulfill our duty, we shall be in need of allies. Capable allies. Our recent travails could not have given clearer proof of that. And what allies could be more capable than those who can count among their number one blessed by the very crystals we seek? Even so, we cannot simply assume that they will be willing to become entangled in our affairs. <laughs> I'd say we're pretty wrapped up in them already, wouldn't you? May we take this to mean that we can count upon thine aid? Well, it's not like there's any place else I need to be. And besides... Is what the matter, boy? Huh? Oh, no, it's nothing. <laughs> You're not believing us behind either. Two may be company, but a crowd's just what I need right now. Go. Oh, don't say you're getting bored of me, Elvis. Ah, as if I'd ever even think something like that. <clears throat> Seriously, though, with a good reason to be coming along for the ride. Those last asterisks we got our hands on helped me read a little more of Lady Emma's old book. And from what Sir Sloan was saying, it sounds like our crystal thieves all have asterisks of their own. So, if we join you on your little adventure, I reckon my favourite special stones will be falling into our laps left and right. And... You'll also have our expert help to call on. Everyone's a winner. <laughs> well, far be it from me to contradict the man who pays my wages. As long as we keep moving, I'm happy. Aye. Uh, remind me why that is again? I'm looking for my sister. She disappeared from our village. And I don't really have any idea where she might be. And I need to earn a living if I want to keep searching, so... Sticking with you is my best option. For now. Oh, I, I, I. That was it, eh? Right. Well, here's hoping we find her soon. Thanks. Twould seem that we are all of the same mind. What thinkest thou, milady? Hmm. Very well. Your kindness is greatly appreciated. I would be honored if you were all to join us. All right, eh? Oh, no, that's settled. Let's head to the tavern and seal the deal over a wee drinky, shall we? You really love the tavern, huh? And what exactly is wrong with that, eh? A quest begun without a little send-off ceremony's no quest at all as far as I'm concerned. Sleep escapeth thee too, I see. Huh? Oh, hi there, Sir Sloan. I had hoped that I might have a chance to speak with thee. Tis mostly of matters long since past, but... 
Wouldst thou be so good as to humor an old man? I too was once favored with the blessing of the wind crystal. To think that half a century has passed since that day. Wait, you were? Indeed. And having been so favored, I did set out with a band of stalwart companions in search of a means by which the Knight's Nexus might be defeated. One among whom was King Godric, Princess Gloria's own grandfather. I shall never forget the experiences we shared, not as long as I live. Hither and yon we journeyed, righting wrongs and vanquishing injustice. In time, we came to be known as the Heroes of Light. Ah, such fond memories. So you were a Hero of Light? Didn't you call me the same thing? Indeed I did. <laughs> Thou didst jolt me most jarringly back into my past, boy. I must admit, to think that it has been 50 years, and that now, after all this time, the blessing of the Wind Crystal should fall upon one such as thee. It pleases me more than words can say. Thou art mine heir. Thou art the one the crystal hath chosen to take my place. This being so, I must ask that thou swear by thy life to protect Princess Gloria, as I myself once swore to protect all those of her line. Of course. Then it is settled. Now, away with thee to bed. We rise with the dawn. Morning. Good morning. Greetings, one and all. <sighs> How do you all look so fresh this early? Ah, good morrow. Uh, Milady, ere we depart, there is something I would present unto thee. Though it paineth me to think of it, there may come a time where thou must needs protect thyself. May this blade serve thee in thy time of need. Well, it is time to set out for our next destination, Savalon. If our suspicions are correct, the water crystal awaits us there. Abilities aren't limited to those you actively use during battle. Have you been making the most of your passive abilities as well? Open the menu and select abilities every once in a while to check on which passive abilities are available. Divining Rod displays the number of unopened treasure chests nearby, lunar powered, during the night magical attack and other stats are increased and 4% of MP is restored each turn. That's actually a good idea. Let's take a look at our jobs here. Okay, so let's see, because with you, examine, okay, I already know that one. Wait, so passive ones are green, okay. Displays a number of unopened treasure chests near- Wait, no they're not. Wait, what? No, I think that just means... Field. Nullifies all terrain inflicted damage. I believe. Search for items. The items found will depend on the user's job level. No, I don't think that's what that shit means. It's just... I'll figure that out later as we go, as we learn more about this game, you know? Um, let's see, so like with you, or uh, sorry, I meant you, you and your black mage, lunar powered. Yeah, okay, so, alright, well, let me get out of here. Uh, let's go ahead and press R again to see, ooh, there are actually some more side quests to do. Uh, let's actually see. 
I'm trying to talk to you. What? Oh. This is just terrible. I mean, what am I supposed to do? I know, pal, I know. But I think you've had enough for one day, don't you? Oh, what difference does it make? I just don't care anymore. Aye, well, you'll care in the morning if you carry on like this. I tell you what, why don't I help you polish off that little law in front of you? A problem shared is a problem halved after all. Wait, how exactly is this going to solve anything? What do you mean? It's obvious, isn't it? He doesn't drink so much that he ends up regretting it. And I drink just enough to have a grand old time. Everyone's a winner. Uh, okay. So, who is this guy anyway? A, a friend of yours? Not really, nah. I, I just ran into him in here, and I thought I'd better not leave him by himself. Uh oh, watch out. Do, do you want to hear a story that will make your hair stand red, boy? Uh, sure. If you think you can manage to tell it. My luck is just terrible. <laughs> Awful. <laughs> First of all, the water's starting to rise. And that messed all the tides up. And that meant that the fish moved. Which meant there were none to be had in my usual fishing spot. You just think that was bad enough. But things got <laughs> worse. I was making my way home, empty handed, when I was attacked by a snagger. Is it a haver? Sahagin. Obviously, I ran for my life. But I was so panicked that I dropped my precious knife. It's a very special knife. See, my master gave it to me when I became a fully <laughs> fledged fisherman. A gift from your master, eh? Then we have to get it back for you. Hey, don't worry, pal. I'm on it. No, no. I can't ask you to do that. That horrible monster carried it off and... Seriously, pal, don't worry about it. We can handle a Sahagin or two. But... Look, this knife. Your master gave it to you, right? It means a lot to you. And if it makes you feel better, I'll not be doing this for free. You can buy me a dram or two to say thanks. How about that? <laughs> well... Yeah. All right then. <laughs> Anything for a drink, huh? We cover the fisherman's knife from the Sahajin. Okay, uh, and then the reward is dark times three. An objective marker has been added to the map. Okay, so if I just talk to him again. Okay. Sounds good, so that's one of them, but there's actually another one. Where was it again? Oh, it's right there. Okay. It's you. Alright, let's see here. One boy's quest. Slightly my son keeps wandering off. He's promised not to leave the town and I trust him, I really do, but still I worry. Would you find him and tell him to hurry back to his poor old mother? Search town for the boy. Okay, that one looks really simple. An objective marker has been added to the map. What, is, what do you mean objective mark? There's a thing on the left over there. Hold on. Wait, was that there before? Or is that the boy? Wait, which one's it pointing to? That, right? Yeah, it's in here. Whatever this thing is. This was actually closed before. Wait. No, 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 it wasn't. No, sorry. The, the one that was closed was over there on the other, on the other side. What do you want? Oh, okay. Uh, sure. Wow, it's like, the, the game just basically tells you where it is. You don't actually have to search. <laughs> what the heck? No, sorry, the one that was closed was over there on the left, and it still is closed. Okay. Um, so I guess we just go back to the mother now? Yep. Report back. Alright, and we got three free Echo Herbs. Well, that was simple. Anything else? It's just that one, but that one's gonna actually be, um... Out over here. Okay, so I saw a different colored diamond, like an orange-ish kind of thing. I think that means side quest, I'm pretty sure. 
Oh my god, this means later in the game when you have, when you're taking like ten side quests. Dagon Selena deserted me. Pathetic cowards. Not only did they fail to secure the crystal, they did not even have the decency to come and tell me as much. <sighs> One simply cannot rely on mercenaries. The Hologradders went to great lengths to have me made Prime Minister. I dread to think what will become of me should I fail to keep my side of the bargain by bringing them the crystal. Oh, perhaps the time has come for more desperate measures. Okay, like I was saying before, um, if there's a bunch of... Yeah, throw it there. Like, later in the game, if there's like 10 side quests you're taking on at once, there's gonna be like 10 diamonds on your screen at all times. That's a little crazy. Huh? What's that? Truff is not a monster! No way! It can talk! Please! Please! Don't hurt Truff! Truff is a monster, yes! But not a bad one! I'm sorry. You just surprised us, that's all. I never heard of talking monsters. Me either! Truth doesn't hurt humans, so please, don't hurt Truff. Don't worry, we won't. So, what are you doing out here all by yourself? You want to hear Truff's story? Oh, thank you! Oh, Truff is looking for someone, someone who can cut tall grass. Uh... What do you mean exactly? A truff dropped a ring. <laughs> a precious, sparkly, shiny ring. <laughs> truff has searched and searched, but <laughs> nothing. Aye, the grass will definitely get in the way of that. Yeah, talk about looking for a needle in a haystack. So, you need someone to cut the grass so you can find this ring? Yes! Someone with a weapon like yours! Yes! You could do it! Sure, I guess we could, but... You, you will help Truff? Oh, thank you, thank you! Truff has asked so many humans to help, but they all ran away. You are the only ones who have listened. Aye, well, they were probably just a wee bit shocked, that's all. Uh, like we said, uh, talking monsters aren't exactly common. Well, anyway, we know you're not a bad monster now. Right, let's get mowing. Where do you think we should start? Human's best friend part one. Okay, so it says cut the grass and find Truff's ring. Okay. Let's take another look at the special actions you can use while out adventuring. Press Y to swing your sword when you're out in the field or exploring a dungeon. Who knows what kinds of exciting items are waiting to be discovered beneath patches of long grass. Start by seeing if you can find Truff's ring. It's right here. Talk about the hardest quest ever. Actually, it might not be. Hold on. Do I have to keep cutting here? Oh, I think it's just pointing to the general area, not specifically there where the, where the um, diamond is. There we go. Got it. Is this your ring, Truff? Oh, yes, that's it, that's it. Humans found it, oh, thank goodness. I'm not so sure it'll fit you, though. Oh, oh, it's not Truff's. <laughs> it's for Truff's friend. Truff's friend, uh, human. What? You have a human friend? Yes, yes. He rescued Truff then. Truff and he became friends. Best friends. 
He's the one who taught Trap how to speak. So that's how you learned, huh? Nice. Well, don't go dropping the ring again, okay? <laughs> oh, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you! Shh! S stop! Wait! What's the matter? They followed! Who did? Monsters? Yes! Monsters who want the ring, who love its shiny, shiny, shiny golden glow! <laughs> they chased Truff. That's why Truff dropped the ring! Sounds like someone needs to teach this lot a lesson. But <laughs> Truff can't fight. Humans can, though. <laughs> Humans can fight them for me, yes! Come on, <laughs> let's sneak up on them. <laughs> uh, sure, I guess. Let's do it. You can also swing your sword to give yourself an advantage over monsters. Time your hit just right and you'll enter battle feeling extra brave, which means you'll start with the BP already in the bank. If you like this was all, should have already been something that should have been explained with the, by the first dungeon. Gain the initiative with the nifty attack. Okay. Unless I could have done this before, but I don't think so. No, there's no way. Okay, so three enemies, and they should be pretty simple, I would say. 189, I mean, how much damage am I- Yeah, this is just- Just spam attacks, it's fine. Oh, and, I, and I even have Sir Slow, and wow, okay, just mash attacks. Oh, I should've just- whatever, that's fine. Alright, super simple battle, whatever, we're done. Alright. So we did that. Not a problem, Truff. You still have your ring, right? Yes, yes, Truff is never going to lose it again. <laughs> but you'll give it to your friend when you find them, right? Yes, of course, of course, of course. Speaking of which, you never told us the whole story of how you met. Oh, Truff was hungry. <laughs> so hungry, Truff thought he would die. Then a human came, <laughs> gave Truff food. Mm. It was so delicious, and it saved Truff's life. The human told Truff so much about his kind, about cooking. And then, one day, he said it. You're my friend, Truff. <sighs> then he left, but he forgot his ring. So Truff decided to take it back to him. <clears throat> Wait, do you know anything about this person? His name... anything? Truff's friend's name is Mitch. <laughs> Mitch is something called a traveling chef. And Truff remembers his face very well. <laughs> if Truff sees his friend's face, he will know him right away. <laughs> so, you're on a journey, but you don't know where you're headed, huh? <laughs> I sometimes feel that way too. Well, good luck. I hope you find your friend. Thank you. Truff hopes so as well. Be careful out there, humans. <laughs> Quest completed. We get small experience orb times two. All right, and with that, I'm actually going to go ahead and end the video here because we are up there in time. So before I end this video, I would like to encourage you to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and turn on notifications if you enjoy the video. I post multiple gaming videos on a daily basis, so hopefully you enjoy my channel. Bye-bye, everyone. Have a great and, of course, a fantastic day.